we are going to go ahead and get this video up. I meant to put this out Friday, and Friday was just super busy, which everything you're going to see in today's video is from Friday. So, And I didn't get it put up yesterday because I moved equipment yesterday to a different job here at Stockton because we work multiple jobs. So uh, we actually, today being Sunday, Dad and I actually cut timber at this job here at Stockton or Jericho Springs, which is just kind of a little burg. Uh, southwest of Joplin. Either or. Uh, we'll should be back in Farley. Gee, hello. Should be back in Farley tomorrow, depending on what the weather does. There's it's snowing here right now, but I guess up north it's blizzard like conditions what they're calling for up there. I've heard the predicted snowfall amounts there at the job site six to eight inches and just north of there is like ten inches plus. So we're kind of just waiting to see what it does up there. We're hoping we get to work this week because we'd like to try to get in there and get that job pounded out and get to the next. Uh, but the weather plays such a big factor. Anyway, so the stuff you're going to see in today's video is from working there at Farley Friday. Okay, now we know where that is. I will actually probably post a video tomorrow of what I did today. So a lot of, a lot of things. Yeah, just a lot of things. So tomorrow's video will be what Dad and I did today. Regardless, uh, thank you for all the logger threads orders over Black Friday and yesterday, Saturday, whatever, Cyber Mondays tomorrow. We had a ton of orders come through. Uh, super thankful. We look forward to more orders, hopefully this this week, tomorrow, with, uh, with the holiday Cyber Monday shopping thing. So, yeah, keep all that stuff coming in. We're super, super grateful. Super grateful. Uh, we try to get them out extremely fast. We try to do everything two to three day shipping here in the United States. We ship everything out priority because if everybody's like me, you hate waiting on things when you buy it and order it. So like we, we do, we try to ship out things out extremely fast. So once again, thank you for the Logger Threads orders. If you've not checked out the Logger Threads products, you won't be disappointed in them. Uh, I assure you, we've we've got a lot, of, a lot of great reviews, people that have bought our products. And generally when somebody buys and orders from uh, Logger Threads once, they usually come back and we are extremely grateful for that as well. So definitely give that a check. Check all that out and follow us everything we do on social media. Turner Logging LLC at Instagram and Facebook and right here on YouTube. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, we started off this morning. We bucked all the logs up here on the landing. Got them laid out. Like I said, we're not going to have a lot of room. We're we're trying to make the most of what we got. Let me set my saw down here real quick. Trying to make the most of what we got. This morning, our first order of business is we're going to cut some of this pallet and oak type stuff. You know, the sycamore, the hackberry, the cottonwood, some of the red oak, some of the pin oak. Of course, here you can see some of the some of the better uh, chink of pin oak here. We'll actually uh, move it on with our walnut. Which this thing here, I'm debating on whether putting it back in the in the uh, blocking lumber type stuff pile. It's not a bad log. It's got some mineral in it, but the butt's down here. The butt cut off real good. It's just airing out right now and drying. Uh, see, there's walnut got a hole in it, which hate to see it, but happens sometimes. Pretty good set of logs. You know, they've they're tall. Uh, so the, the average board foot for trees high, which we like to see that. Got a good color, good sap line, a lot of them. But, I don't know where I was going with that, just but. <laughs> yeah, we don't have a lot of room for a deck area. So, what's going to transpire today is we're going to cut and drag and... As that's going on, I'm going to be down here the first part of the day, probably uh, bucking this stuff up and getting it windrowed because we've already talked to, to the mill that's buying our blocking and lumber in this area, which we've sold to them for years. Every time we work up here and we get a job like this, we sell them that material that, just like I said, the pallet, the blocking, uh, just the lumber, anything but the walnut. And they've always been really good to us, really great guys to work with, uh, trustworthy. So, first things first, we've already talked to them this morning. We're going to try to get a load ready for them. Hopefully, uh, shouldn't take us too long to size some of these trees. And I'll walk up there here in just a minute, or I might 
take the skid steer up there and kind of work on the road and try to get that road slicked up because I, I did tell our landowner we'd have him an interstate highway up his old road here when we're done and I intend to have him a good road. Which when you get to dragging heavy logs, the heavy skidder up and down that thing to really pack it in there and smash everything down, it'll make a good road. So that's the first order of business today and we're still going to cut some walnut as we come to it. But we got to cut all this stuff anyway. And we've, we're have to the point now where, we're, yeah, we're, we got to get our walnut cut, but it's not going to take a whole lot to fill our deck up. So we'll pile all of our blocking material right here. That way the truck can just back right in off the road. He can sit here in one spot. He can load up, head on up the road to where he's going up here by St. Joe. Okay. Good stuff. Let's go. This here's where, boom. This here is a, this is what'll make you and break you with logging right here. This is where, uh, you know, guys that, guys that cut a lot of timber and guys that are loggers that do the type of logging operations we do, you know, selective cuts. Um, this is what'll make you or break you is cutting your log links because this is where, yeah, the, the hard work goes on up there in the timber but when you get out here to the deck area, this is where, like, the technical stuff goes on. This is where, like, you know, where you've really got to determine what cuts are going to bring the most money. This is where you really got to know your know your logs, know your markets, and study them before you cut them and mark them. Or mark them and cut them, should I say. Like this one here, I was having a lot of debate on this bur oak. It's got a beautiful 10-foot log in it. Of course, it's got a, got a knot right here at 10 foot, which is where I cut it. I was going to cut it here at 12, but we were going to have that knot, and it was going to be about an inch or so bigger right there at 10, just because of the lay of the log. And there's a lot of little tricks to cutting these logs, too. There really is. Uh, now, the problem is I'm left with a 14-foot log in the top. It's a good log, but I don't have a market for 14-feet logs. And that was the problem, was I had to determine whether I needed to make that 12 back there or excuse me, yeah, make that 12 back there, then pull another 12 up here, or cut the 10 and have two foot of log I got to trim off. So the deal is, is it's all about the end results, the dollar amount. That's that's the figure we care about for our clients and ourselves. I mean, we're not doing this to for a workout. We're not doing it for practice. We're doing this to make a living. So I'm going to have less footage because I'm cutting off two feet up here. But the end result is... This log, cutting it into a 10-foot length, being bigger right here at 10, and being overall a cleaner, better log, this piece is going to bring more money than it would if I cut it at that 12. And, yeah, this, is, this isn't this is a big money piece anyway. This thing's too rough. This is just a big lumber log. So losing the two feet up here, yeah, it hurts us on the footage for the volume, but overall, we've made more money on the cut by cutting it back here at 10. And same like this little walnut. Of course, this little walnut, it's not a big log by any means, but it's a good log. Look at that. Virtually no sap line. Good log. I made this first cut a nine. And that by doing that, because it crooks right here, it really crooks right there at nine. We've, we've still got a good straight piece. By doing that, my nine-foot logs are in a better price bracket than my eight-foots. So we've kept the, kept the main butt log in the, in the good price bracket. And we've still got a good lumber log up here. Now, I know when we're talking about oak and walnut, it's, it's, it truly is apples and oranges. It truly is. But it just kind of gives you an idea. It's, it's not a... For the people that don't cut timber day in and day out, it's not just going out there and knocking trees down. I mean, there's a, there's a, lot, of, <laughs> there's a lot of figuring that goes into it to ensure that we make our clients the most money possible. And that's what comes down to having a good deck area. That's another reason why we've got that skid steer too. I mean, there's a million reasons because they are by far the most versatile machine I think ever built. So that kind of gives you an idea of the run down here. Now it's kind of trees like this here. We make up some footage real fast. I made four tens out of that tree. It's a really, really good tree. A lot of footage in it. Got some size to it. Need to 
bring the bucket down here and kind of push on that stuff again real quick, see if we can't spin this out. Oh, that makes me cringe. That makes me cringe. Skitter man today. He just comes in here and drops a couple. I unhook them for him and I start working them up, get them stacked. It's been pretty been pretty consistent. He's a and he hasn't, this is the first time I've ever worked with him. He's worked with my uncle Kenny quite a bit off and on, I think. And he uh, he seems to be a Really getting the hang of things from no logging background or operating background. Actually, here he comes out again, right here. Got a drag. 